All right. So our next game is Output Delivery uh, by Yu Hing Gao. Uh, she's also worked with two collaborators, uh, Lillian Leng and Yuz Bolling, right? Yes. Uh, Yu Hing, would you like to give us a brief intro to your, um, to your trailer, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, my game is a 42-minute interactive documentary follows a slice of life story of a food delivery career in Beijing right before Lunar New Year in 2020, and also happens to be the day that Wuhan city was quarantined because of the uh, pandemic. Um, yeah, that's basically a synopsis of the, of the game. It's shot with 360 video, the players controlled camera and this panoramic view. Right, so let's watch the trailer. Right, so I believe we have some footage that you wanted to comment on. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll, you know, you can comment up and we might have, ask questions as we go. That's um, totally cool, yeah. All right, cool. So go ahead. Is, the, is it starting? Yes. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to uh, share first the control of the game. Player can control the camera, look around, and decide what they wanted to pay attention to. And player also hold this device, a phone that serves as an observational and navigational tool, which it records dialogues, shows which text bubble player has already interacted with. Um, this is about 3.30 in the morning. The team of couriers are just doing their routine team building, and they clean up the baskets and take pictures, post on Douyin, which is the Chinese TikTok, to show their managers. So this is how usually this starts the day. But today is kind of special because it's the day the Wuhan city was quarantined right at the, around the same time, 10 a.m. in the morning, and they were talking about the quarantine in the city, kind of joke about it. Um, so these, uh, the reason I follow these couriers is because they sort of make the su super busy 996 style of Beijing living possible. So in the days of pollution or bad traffic, they allow the office workers to hide at home and order delivery food to take to home. And some other similar workers and uh, allow them to order pharm ph pharmacy drugs uh, and um, other packages to be delivered to the ho to home. So most of the gameplay is sort of like this, pretty delight and light, not heavy at all. Um, however, some parts are intentionally made slow in terms of pacing. It's um, it's the way that I'm saying that the game is not about entertaining uh, entertaining the players only. It's about showing the couriers labor in a measure of time. So you sort of experience all this with the couriers. This is also when I decided if I should give players like a fast forward or rewind function. Um, eventually I decided, okay, I will make the what's in the game in, engaging instead of giving a player button to, to skip, sort of. Um, I was playing yeah. the other day, and one mm. of the things that, you know, feels amazing is that, you know, you're driving outside, you know, I'm cooped up in my apartment in New York, <laughs> and this felt really special. Um, so, so this idea of, like, lifting the players kind of, like, slow down, is that, was this deliberate, or has this come out, like, as we were all on lockdown, because I think that now we're learning how to be patient and how to wait. Yeah, and that's sort of an interesting take of that, uh, going outside or 
living a slower pace. We our lifestyle is changed by 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 the entire state at, at home orders as well. So this is the thing I wanted to especially maybe point it out. Um, because in this scene, there are three stories happening simultaneously. Two curious on the side are talking about couldn't pay a reoccurring bill. One at the back um, ordered a sliced beef, but could, didn't get to have his food because in order it came in, so he had to leave. And the other couriers um, outside the uh, restaurants are uh, resting and playing video games. So um, this is uh, what I, eventually decided to translate and fully kind of flash out the scenes because um, influenced by Robert's post about video game neorealism. Um, neorealism ne uh, is, uh, part of it is talking about like not only focus on one protagonist, but also have your camera lingered on the world around, around the protagonist showing out more of the world. So you can see um, things besides just this one person. Um, yeah, so this is a pretty, uh, what I would describe as a delight and funny at times, unexpectedly break your heart game. But those moments that would break your heart are totally missable and you wouldn't know, I promise, which I'm very proud of. So um, I hope everyone can enjoy this one. I have a question about it. Uh, for those moments where there's like, a couple conversations happening simultaneously mm -hmm. do you expect like players will maybe like be focusing on one conversation and then like see one out of the corner of their eye and like replay the game to see that other one or have you noticed players like moving from one to the other because they like they're like oh no i'm really excited about this one so they're more like switching gears in the moment i'm curious which occurs um with your game looks really cool Probably if you should freeze. No. Oh no. no. <laughs> oh no. no. no but I, I know from having played it is that yeah. the conversations are Oops. in the phone. I'm so sorry. Kind of like oh, catch welcome up. Back. Okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, my internet. It happens. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I missed the second half half of the question. You said uh, in the shot the one several things happening spontaneously. Mm -hmm. Do I ex expect Claire to uh, to to what? I missed that part. Well, I was just wondering if you've noticed if players sort of like are watching a conversation and then notice one they're excited about and just like instantly go to it or are they replaying the game multiple times to like see all the different um, opportunities of conversations that are happening simultaneously? I'm just wondering how that plays out. Uh, right now, not enough play tests have been done for this. Oh, okay. So uh, I didn't have a personal observation of it, uh, but I do notice when I was watching the, the dialogues, that sometimes I would miss some, something because it's not always happening in front of me. That's also the use of the phone in, in, the, in the game. It's kind of a comforting device to tell you that you don't panic if you miss something. It will be recorded here. Just keep going, keep looking. That's great. That's a really friendly feature. I like I like how that sounds. It's cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're out of time, but uh, congratulations using a thing that this is going to be a real hit out there. Thing oh my this God. Thank you. Resonated. Yeah, it looks yeah. amazing. Super yeah, cool. good job. Being yeah. outside in a scooter is like such a luxury. So, so you know, thank you for your game. It's been really great. Um, thank you very much. Thank you, Nina. And thank oh, you, thanks. Clara. Nice meeting you. Yes. Nice meeting you. And uh, 